Today we're in, I think this is Sethner Valley Cove, Florida. We're doing a standard irrigation inspection. They have, this property has, uh, zo there's 12 zones here. Five shows on good connection. So there's 12 zones. Give me a quick minute, I'm doing the, the video, right? So there's 12 okay. zones and zone five is not running. I can see there's a well pump over there. There's a well pump and it, the pump is on. It can be a leak, so I'm just walking around the property, but I'm doing an inspection right now. And I can tell you right now, you see those sprinklers there? One, two, three, there's pop-ups there. There's no need for those pop-ups. We can, there's three here. One, two, three. We can put a rotary right in the center there and it will cover this whole section. Perfect. The same thing goes with the other one. One in the center and it'll cover a whole section eliminating all these redundant sprinklers there. Not even installed right. Above ground. But we'll, we'll the, the way we're gonna fix this problem here is I just got here, but I know very well that I need to look for those valves. I checked the, the, the connection is good. So that means we are getting connect, we're connected to that valve. So if we have a good connection and the pump is running, I need to look for a leak first. So I've been, I have it running so I can make sure this, if there's a leak, it'll, it'll be obvious because you'll see a, like a, a lot of water standing in the location and we should, that's the way you can, uh, you can find these problems. So you look around the property just trying to see if you find a leak. And I'm gonna have you in the video so you can see the way we check things out. Still walking it so I don't see anything. So I'm looking for a leak because we have a good connection to the solenoid. Does it mean that it's running? Does it mean that the valve is running? But I want to make sure that it's not by me walking and checking if there's a leak somewhere. Before I started the video, I was already um, looking for this leak and it was good, but a good connection. So what I'm thinking here is that we need to locate this valve and replace it. Before I replace it, what I'm gonna do first, once I track it and find it, I'm going to manually turn it on to see if it activates the zone. If it does, that means the valve is, is activating or the solenoid, something's wrong with the solenoid that's not activating or opening up that valve. So the valve needs to be replaced and that'll take care of that problem. But before I make that assumption, I need to make sure that when I do find the valve, I, I manually turn it on to see if it turns on its own. I can see it clearly run. So I think this, but before I jump over to that, I'm gonna go to zone six next, but I wanna try to be as thorough as I can, trying to find this leak around the property. And here's the, the, the tank that I was talking to you about. It's not on. So we're gonna look for that valve and see what's going on. But I just wanna show you an example here. Again, here's the, always the same thing. Redundant sprinklers in locations where you really don't need them. You can see all this water, too much water in this area. It's a bunch of weeds. But I see they cap one there. And how, how unusual, another sprinkler right next to each other. There used to be, I guess, someone that was working on this did notice that, but they should eliminate that and put something else. I haven't seen the setup here, but I'm going to try to see what I can optimize here.